Tomato Frog These are named as tomato frogs because of their strong appearance with tomato, having dark orange-red color. You can easily recognize male and female. Females have orange-red, and males have yellow-red color. It is a beautiful combination of colors that make them look even more incredible. Tomato Frog Habitat There are two frog species, the Madagascar tomato frog and the false tomato frog. But the real tomato frogs are Discophus and Tangilii. These frogs usually love tropical and subtropical environments. You can see them in the marshy areas, rivers, and rural and urban areas. The common feature that they hold is that they are active at night and do hunting usually at this time. They eat insects, worms, and parasites. Tomato frog temperature. We must take proper care of our frog pet. The temperature, in this regard, plays a significant role. These frogs love to stay in humid areas, so maintain the temperature at 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. If there comes a rise or fall of temperature, this can be fatal for your frog. Place a heating pad inside the terrarium to keep the temperature warm. Try checking temperature regularly because a slight change in it might result in the death of your frog. There are a lot of things that you need to know about this species. Different aspects are required to understand if you are thinking of adopting them. Let's have a look at some of the facts of them. They live in marshy or swampy areas, near the river, also known as Sambava frogs. They love to hide in caves. More active at night. They eat insects, worms, and small parasites. When somebody tries to threaten them, they secret a layer of poison to save themselves from predators like a snake. Try maintaining the temperature between 65 to 85 degrees of F. Tomato frog breeding. We have done a lot of research on reproducing them or how this species of frogs can breed. There are no searches on this section. Most of the people are still unaware of it. But after going through some articles, we have found that some people tried to breed them using hormones, the process is fair. But, sometimes using this method cause severe harmful effects. You can easily differentiate between males and females because the male is smaller in size, approximately 2 to 2.5 inches, but on the other hand, females are larger 3 to 34 inches. In addition to this, you can also tell which one is male by merely seeing on them because the male is yellow-red, and females have a bright red color with some orangish texture. Don't forget like and subscribe my channel and click on bell button for more videos.